Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel here, Bobby Scroll Thoreau 444. This is going to be a general uh, midweek message here for the sign of Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So take these messages, they resonate for you and your current situation. Leave the rest, guys. Do not force the messages to fit. Keep it moving, okay? <laughs> Let's get started for my Taurians out there. So it looks like we're focused around a love connection, a soulmate connection, a choice between two lovers. This could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? Um, or someone that has air in their chart. This is communication here. Someone being at a crossroads. It has to do with your commitments. What are you committed to? Committed to love, committed to your soulmate. If it is a soulmate, we have many of them out there, guys. Something that you love. You got to choose between a lover. You got to choose between a situation. Take them as they resonate. What you're connected to. Okay, this is like a divine here. Divine connection. Coming together or wanting to come together. Something that you're dreaming about, but your dreams need a practical plan, Taurus. So, I'm going to start out with the angel number that I have for you that I was guided to give all the zodiac signs for this week was the number 679. Okay, so those numbers 6, 7, or 9 could be significant. June, July, or September could be significant. Could be dealing with a, a Gemini, a Cancer, or a Virgo. Okay, Gemini is here. So, the angels are trying to get your attention to use your intro intuition and connect to your emotions when dealing with this choice, this decision between two, okay? Whether it is between a lover and a situation or it's between two lovers, I don't know what that is for you, okay? But go with what is emotionally fulfilling. Follow your heart in this situation. Um, with any issue that's currently going on or you're dealing with in your life right now, you can make anything possible. So what do you want? What do you want to achieve? Is it a love situation? Is it a lover? Is it a soul connection? Is it someone or something that you love? Is it something that makes you happy? Something that has been seen, has been shown to you? Time to discover who you are and what you want out of life. Don't be afraid to fail, so keep going. That's the message for today. So, um, or for this week, right? So let's get started, Taurus, and see what else you need to know about this uh, lover situation, this choice or decision that you need to make that you're most likely dreaming about. Okay, this color green here is tapping into those emotions. I thought one flipped around there, but, but what do you feel? How do you feel? All right, maybe you feel like somebody's stolen something from you. Okay, you got a thief around you. You got a, a thief for a lover? You're thinking about this or in your thoughts? I'm thinking about this lover. I do a lot of thinking, a lot of dreaming, daydreaming, night dreaming, daydreaming about night things or night dreaming about day things. Maybe you're chained to something, you're tied to something right now. Okay, could be a child here involved, a gift, okay. Oh, this one flipped. What was it? I thought something flipped. A courtship. Feeling chained or tied to a courtship, somebody that you're already dating? I don't know. That you have a child with maybe there's discussion in a family room over some uh you know feeling left out or feeling alone or feeling of uh, feelings of abandonment or not wanting to abandon someone or something it could be official person involved the wealthy man is an official person could have something to do with stability or finances here but somebody's stealing something from you whether that is love time money energy whatever that is Somebody laughing about it, too. Like, you don't even see this. You're too focused on something else. But they're like, ha-ha, we got away with it. So, huh, maybe you are seeing this now because it's being illuminated here. It's shedding light on it. Somebody could have the child stealing from you. Picking, uh, this is like pickpockets. Wanting to keep you busy with time. Taking up a lot of your time to keep you from making a choice or decision, or this is taking a lot of time to make a choice and decision. All right, 24, 16, 17th, April 16th or 17th or April 24th, Aries energy. All right, or April 21st. Somebody could be younger here, maybe 21, 24, all the way up to 37, 22. 
something gonna happen in April? Something gonna happen around Easter time? Okay, let's see what else we got going on for my Taurus. However, if it's around April 20th or so, it could be around Taurus season. That's your season. So either April or beginning of May. Now, I don't see any fives here yet, but let's see what's going on with Taurus. What about this choice and decision here? Collision of beliefs, okay? Healing from heartbreak. So someone's going to be heartbreaking about this choice or you're worried about heartbreak because of this choice. Is leaving behind feelings of abandonment, but there's a powerful shift with that eclipse that we just had. Things changing. It's time to clean up space. Sp space clearing time. Clearing your time. Two people trying to keep your keep you stuck in time or in a time loop. Or to take all your time away from you. All right, October could be significant too. 35, 36 here, but mending a broken heart. Someone wants to mend a broken heart or trying to mend. It's like covering up with a Band-Aid, guys. It's like if somebody's broken your heart, you keep forgiving them and forgiving them and forgiving them, but nothing gets healed. And it could have something to do with beliefs or styles or attitudes or energies. Like you constant, they constantly say that they're sorry it won't happen again. They're sorry it won't happen again. But it keeps repeating over and over. But someone's got a, a lover or a soul connection here that's being guided together. And there could be a difference in beliefs or attitudes or their energies are different. Or you see something different in another lover or another, another love situation. And maybe you still feel broken. Like you got to heal this broken heart before you can move forward with this connection. I don't know, I got many messages here, but there's been a powerful change here with this eclipse that we just had. The energy is shifting. Whether you were in a negative energy or you ha uh, had negative energies in your surroundings, it's clearing up or it's time to clear that up. Definitely a storm occurred. You could be live you could live near storms or you could have recently had a storm in your area. Let's see what else is going on for, um, I almost said Gemini. Definitely feel like there's a Gemini involved here. I mean, it could be a twin. Um, somebody could have uh, a relationship here with their sibling or there's a difference of beliefs that you and your sibling have. Okay, Taurus, love. Okay, these lovers in reverse. So either a love connection is over or there's just no love there, love don't live here no more kind of situation, obsessive passion that harms others, or self-destructive devotion. This is like love bombing, someone trying to love bomb you, stealing your love for their own selfish reasons, to harm you, to steal from you, time, money, energy, whatever that is. Okay, yeah, a pleasure is due to pleasures. Someone feeling guilty over these pleasures, like they constantly say that they're sorry they won't happen again, but it keeps repeating. Exploitation of the female nature or form. So this is a lover, someone that is seen as a god or a goddess. You know, it's like, okay, this is my, this is my, this is my lady. This is my gentleman. This is my man. This is my woman, you know, but they're very freely with their, with their nature, their form, their body. They don't mind showing it off. I mean, I guess it's okay to show off your body. That's your prerogative. But this person does it in a negative way. They're not very wise with with their decision making. Okay, and then they constantly apologize for it. They they do understand that it's harming you. That they do this. Like it's like I really would prefer that you didn't act this way. You know or uh. You know, uh, wear these type of clothing or, you know, whatever that is for you guys, okay? And this person's like, well, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. And then they continue to do it. They continue to show off their body or they continue to be very, uh, uh, you know, sexually um, open with themselves. Show off a lot. Or they're a show off. And they love to do this. This is just who they are. 
the, the energy vampire. Yeah, depleting others for your psychic survival. Chronic complaining and codependency. Someone that's codependent on your energy, your time, your money, your love. They, they have lack of love for themselves, but you constantly, you have love for this person, but they don't love, they don't love you because they don't love themselves. They have a different belief in love. They have a different attitude towards love. Love is very um, body related here. It's all about the appearance. Heaven is a place on earth. Okay. Thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, uh, betraying people's confidence here, telling stories, making up gossip, lies, whatever rumors going around. Okay. So you've got that going on, whether this is around friends or family or this, you're discussing this in the family room. Oh my goodness. This is a lot of information, guys. Ugh. All right, so let's get some more on this. I'm going to move these down. Get more information for Taurus. You need to get practical about your situation, more practicality in your life. Where is this leading, right? Somebody was misleading. Yeah, tower, okay? So uh, faulty foundation here. So it's saying to you need to rebuild here you need to clean clean your energy it's time for a space clearing uh great worry over nothing so somebody could be worrying about this this change but there's trouble there's accusations there's gossip there's rumors there's stories being made up here like things are hitting the fan here okay someone went to a steak fry or something or somebody could be frying steak all right over happiness what makes you happy so somebody's trying to cause trouble regarding things that make you happy or your happiness in general or accusing you of something that makes you happy or you're accusing them of something that makes you ha they, them happy all right we got you will be receiving a gift Taurus or you're either this is you receiving a gift or you want to give somebody something all right um don't be tempted to lower your standards okay stand up for your beliefs what are your styles what are your attitudes what are your energies are you entertaining a thief? Someone stealing your time, money, energy, whatever that is. Doing a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking about this person. Whether this is a thief that you're looking into and you're like re doing some reevaluation over what has transpired. And, you know, recognizing I need to heal this broken heart. I'm constantly having my heart broke over this person that I'm dealing with. Focusing on your happiness. Temporary situation, affairs with your family, lighthearted, carefree time. Somebody could feel that way. They just have a lighthearted, carefree time. They go out there and they're freely just doing their thing, showing their body off, whatever. Somebody could be a model, okay, a clothes model, fashion model, whatever that is. They're into that, okay. We've got May could be of significance here. That's uh, your birth month is May. Guys, announcement being made, okay? We've got an unsuccessful outcome to a problem, so it's broken. Things are broken right now, or feeling of a, this broken heart. There's an opportunity or windfall that wants to come in for you or is coming in for you. Pay attention to your health. Something's not good for your health. Uh, Aries energy, okay? A stubborn, aggressive person around you, and we have deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So, so there'll be peace in the valley. Someone just wants a peaceful connection or a peaceful relationship here they their peace is not they don't have peace here it's been disturbed they have to stay strong pleasure with a close friend so some may want to get a get get together with a close friend that makes them happy or that is happy just be aware there's like energy vampires over here someone want to drain your happiness because they don't feel happy april and may yep Hello, Aries or Taurus or Gemini, either one of those signs of Gemini again. So um, let's get some energy around this Taurus spiritual union. Okay. Yep. And door to spirit. Someone could be working on a partnership or want to work on a partnership here. This is like a, a like minds, like you see things alike whether you're with a person right now and there's some type of collision of beliefs you don't believe the same things yet they're you're together okay for what reason are you together for practical reasons for stability okay money 
I don't know. Patience and planning. So someone's trying to make plans here. Be patient about this choice or this decision of this path. So something with the option, an opportunity to take action. Mm -hmm. Somebody think it could be Cherry or Sherry. Somebody could go by that, Cherry or Sherry. So we got July 17th, um, July 2nd, or February 7th or February 17th. All right, so somebody could be spiritual over here. We got the spiritual union. If somebody's foundation is upside down or they're turning things upside down because of this eclipse. It's, a, it's been a powerful shift. The home is not uh, not at a good foundation. This tower was in reverse here. It's not built on a solid foundation, guys. So it's going to fall. If you go to build a house, a house is what you make it. You turn a house into a home. Otherwise, it's just four walls, a roof, and the ground, right? If you don't build that house with, with good building blocks, with um, good structure, then it will falter. So suffering this emotional loss because a family is bro a broken family or there's bro a breakup here that has occurred causing heartache. Like, oh, my dear heart. So somebody's like holding on to their heart, got their hands over their chest here. All right. It's trying to hold strength. This is somebody who's trying to hold up a family that's nothing but built on, I want to say poo. It is. It's built on poo. It wasn't healthy to begin with. Someone tried to make it a home, but it was only a house. All right, September 5th here. Somebody's stuck at the land of the decision, and there's a lot of hostilities going on about this, about this decision making. Yeah, doing shadow work here, going within to find the answers. Someone looking in the mirror at themselves, like, what have I got myself into? How did I get myself in this situation? Why do I keep myself stuck and stagnant? conflict feeling conflicted and defeated it's karma what goes around comes around wanting victory and success and, and listening somebody's got a lot of desires here a lot of energy a lot of uh, someone's trying to keep a relationship together because they're sexually attracted to each other and that's just just of it guys yes it's for financial stability it's for money but it's also just keeping someone because the sex is good. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Prosperity begins. So somebody wanting to plant seeds. Could be a pregnancy here involved. If they could turn back time. Somebody says if they could turn back time. They'd take back those words that had hurt you. So somebody could have said some hurtful words over here. Or somebody is saying hurtful words out of hostilities, you know, the arguments, fights, disagreements, thinking, doing a lot of thinking and manifesting a partnership or alliance because they want a happy family, trying to stay strong. If we something going on in your community or this is coming out in the community or the community knows about this, I don't know, guys. Uh, amaka, 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 amaka. I don't know why I hear that. Look, <laughs> focus, focus. Freaking A. Oh, geez. Somebody dealing with some hocus pocus. Like, you know how uh, Sarah Michelle Geller, or is it Sarah Jessica Parker? Oh, Buffy. Buffy, okay. Uh, she goes around and jumps around and says, a muck, a muck, a muck. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Like, things are just a muck. I don't know where that came from, but that was hilarious. I just had to laugh. And I'm not laughing at your situation, Taurus. Don't think it that way, okay? All right. Because this is not, it's not funny. Okay. All right. September 8th or August 9th here, August 5th. Some Leo energies coming out. Let's see. Taurus, what do they need to know this week about this situation? All right, denial. So somebody's in denial, not seeing things, having a fear, having a fear of moving forward. Maybe a fear of being lack. Maybe a fear if there's some type of hostilities or abuse or somebody not seeing things, that different belief system. If I leave, this could happen. What if I leave? What is this person going to say? Who cares what people say? Use your own awareness. Use your own intuition. What will make you happy, Taurus? 
Where's your joy? About pleasing others. It's all about pleasing other people. Someone repetitively doing this, hurting you, or you're hurting them. And it's repetitive cycles. I'm sorry, but I won't do it again. And then they keep doing it. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. And they keep doing it. Accept the challenge is the best way to learn. So it's working through adversity. You're being challenged right now. Are you able to accept those and continue to grow? And recognize that we all have adversities come our way. People are going to be hostile. We're going to have haters. <clears throat> somebody, yeah, somebody doesn't want me to talk about this. You're going to have haters. Whether they hate on this relationship, they hate on your situation, they hate that you're stable, whatever that is, okay? Are you able to stand up for your happiness? Are you able to stand up for what you believe in? Are you able to go for what you want? Are you able to use your own intuition instead of allow other people to control that? Be honest with yourself. I, can always, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Are you honestly being truthful with yourself in this situation? Be of service. It's so good when you help others. And that's understandable. Maybe you do work in the service industry. I don't know. Okay? But it makes you feel good. Yes. But understand, Taurus, that you're out there. You cannot please everyone out in the world. There are 7 billion people on this planet. And it's okay to help. But it's not okay to use somebody or be used by somebody. Taken advantage of. Failure. I understand a mistake is only opportunity to learn. Somebody feels like they failed. You're not a failure. Don't be afraid to fail. Keep going. Just because something doesn't work out, it doesn't mean there's something better for you. Maybe this situation just wasn't for you. Or it wasn't for the person that you were dealing with. Or it wasn't for you both. I don't I mean, whatever side this you're on, guys. Love. Commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Focus on love. Loving yourself. What you love, who you love, if it is a lover, I don't know. Worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Worry does not change the outcome. It's not going to make any difference either way, okay? If it's meant to happen, it's meant to be, then it'll be. If it's not meant to be, it's not going to. Taurus. Let's get you some messages out of here. be an ex we could be going through a diagnosis we've got a recent diagnosis here could be a sexual diagnosis i don't know there's like watch your health pay attention here it could be depression or you know anxiety somebody have anxiety i take something for anxiety here Okay, um, the number seven. Someone needs to spiritually realign themselves. Focusing on their own talents and their gifts. Their natural abilities. Okay. okay. 37 or 73. So this would be a third party situation. Yeah, diagnosis and prescription. So somebody's got a prescription over here. Sagittarius. Okay, Gemini. There's Gemini again. You've had Gemini come out three times already. Rex. Somebody's name could be Rex. 49, 94, 93, 97. Any of those? Numbers can be significant. See. Somebody's proud. Okay. 
Don't let Pride and Ego get in the way, though. Somebody's got a drip. Something's dripping. All right. A Virgo. Cancer. All right. Something with a crowd or a crowd pleaser. Um, somebody can listen to Creed. That's weird. Okay. With arms wide open. Okay. Forty-five, fifty-three, thirty-five, thirty-four, ninety-five, seventy-five. Any of those um, years or numbers could be significant to you. All right, Celia. Somebody could have a scar. Somebody's wounded. They could have recently had a fall. Okay. Uh, Jesse. Capricorn. Okay. Somebody focused on sex right here. It's right there. Somebody been sexed. Deacon. Somebody rolled the dice. Something's dicey. Somebody's dicing something up. Somebody could be dealing with pest. Or somebody's pestering you. Um, Eli. Riley. Somebody could be eating rice. Somebody's name could be Price. Okay, let's see what we got. Somebody's name could, initials could be BJ or JB. Somebody's going through a lot of BS. Okay, all right. Epic. Something's epic. This epic change. This energy shift is epic. Someone says, give me a second. Give me a second to think. Something sides. Something at your side or somebody at your side. Somebody's name could be Breck or Brick. Something with Brick. Somebody could live in a brick house. Like the bricks weren't laid right in the house. That's why the foundation came down. Uh, somebody needs peace. Somebody wants some rest or resting in peace. Uh, CJ. Did I say CJ? Someone's in a ride. Someone's a writer, like they're a, a, a ride along, or something happened on a ride along. Somebody could, uh, somebody's name could be Peck, or there's perks here. Somebody, uh, somebody got a perk out of this. Somebody could also be eating perch. Someone is in ecstasy or something about ecstasy. Something with a bread or breeding. All right, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Gemini, Sag. Okay, and the numbers we have is Five, four, three, nine, and seven. Any of those numbers could be relevant here. We got DC, so something could happen in DC. Washington. 
somebody made to do their do their laundry, do your wa do their washing, <laughs> or somebody listening to a lot of CDs. Uh, X E I R S B J and P. Just trying to get as many messages out as I can give you guys. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully this message resonated and you got the clarity that you need to move forward. You know, hopefully everything works out for the best here. Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Gemini, Sag, any of those signs, all those signs could be involved. Gemini definitely three times. Um, if it doesn't resonate, don't take the message. It's not for you guys. Okay. So that's what I have. Good luck to you and your situation. I wish you the best. Take care and good luck.